Hey, hi, Glenn here at the workshop at the gardens. We are in the log yard. And what started out, I don't even really know where it started out. I built a whole bunch of pergolas. We built some things. I had an idea to do a timber frame and then I built this. Woo, check that out, pretty cool. Uh, and then we started collecting logs and we got chainsaw mills and then we started collecting more logs and like weekly a trailer full of logs show up here in the log yard and I'm running out of space and I can't cut things fast enough. But luckily, luckily Ben from the Duck Hill Workshop uh, just took delivery of a huge Timber King 2020 uh, portable sawmill. So I am contracting him to come in and start to get through some of these logs. Very exciting. So anybody that's done sawmilling, I'm not saying like big, huge monster businesses. If you've done anything more than a log or two in your backyard, you know how it goes. You get one log and you can't say no to the next log and you end up with a whole bunch of logs. And then it's more than just the cutting, it's this whole process of logistics of being able to stack your lumber and sticker it and store it and dry it and bring more in and keep up with it. Tad bit overwhelming. So hopefully by the end of this year, maybe end of next year, we'll get a little bit more organization into the log yard here. That's really gonna start out. Hopefully I can get Ben with the Duck Hill Sawmill. LLC. Find them on Instagram, find them on YouTube, find them on Facebook. So I'll put a couple of links somewhere either down in the description up above about uh, the Duck Hill Sawmill. Well enough of this because we're going to have a lot of time to talk about it as I get this whole place cleaned up. But today is going to be a fun day. So it's the first day that a portable sawmill will be here at our log yard so we're gonna knock out a bunch of little stuff and get set up and just have fun with a big huge portable sawmill here enjoy
after the initial setup and leveling of the mill. We're kind of settling into a nice little groove here. We're milling everything live at edge and at an inch and a half thickness, um, keeping it all the same size for the kiln and just preparing a bunch of wood for charcuterie boards and things like that for the fall. And just as I mentioned, things were moving slowly. We had our first little snafu, a broken blade. So all kinds of firsts today, learning a lot as we move along. Kind of a fun little fix, change the blade and put it in the hammer. with the sawmill and it's fun because we're going through a lot of different species today started out with a silver maple and then did an ash log that's a piece of sugar maple right there some pretty cool grain and a neat little crotch right on the top there still learning the sawmill as far as you know how far branches can stick off the side and where they go in that's why I had to jump up there with a the chainsaw and do a little bit of trimming and get it in there. This is a pretty cool piece of river birch, Betula nigra, on the mill right now. And that had some amazing figure in it and a little bit of spalting. We're gonna make some neat boards.
the sink back, got a fresh on 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 the sink franchise best on the team, 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 Well, joking a little bit, it'll be an interesting video when we get this done because we have three and a half hours. We, I have three and a half hours of film to get under a half an hour of video. <laughs> 10 minutes of video. <laughs> 20 minutes of video. You know, you're going to watch it because look at this thing. Um, pretty awesome. Maiden Voyage. I didn't know that. It's the maiden voyage off of the farm. Off the farm. First mobile gig. Yay. Yeah. Here. Uh, Truck hit, pulled it all the way. <laughs> hit 10 hours. We did. So yeah. on a brand new machine like this at 10 hours, you'll take it home in TLC. Yep. We're ready for an oil change. We've got to torque the clutch bolts down uh, to 47 foot pounds. There you go. Um, and do a couple other little things that I don't remember. I have to read the manual. And the other thing that, well, there's two things. One, not new to being a Sawyer, but newer. So still, there's we're gonna learn a lot. I'm mm -hmm. gonna learn a lot, lot just watching. <laughs> and the other thing is, when you have a brand new sawmill, you're supposed to go slow for the first 50 hours. So is this thing cranking out board foot? It, yeah, because that's a lot compared to our chainsaw. Um, but just running it a little bit slower. So after the first 100 or 200 logs, it'll... We'll pick up the pace. The pace will get picked up. Hit Very production cool. levels. But the one thing I did realize today, well, got a lot of frickin' wood around here. <laughs> three more loads coming? <laughs> Yeah, that's not counting all the trees to take down over at another place, so... <laughs> Anyways, uh, as usual, an awesome day milling here in the log yard. Uh, pretty excited. Follow along at Workshop at the Gardens. I'm going to put a whole bunch of links down in the description. I'll also put a card up here to... There's. Duck Hill Workshop. Are you going to start a YouTube channel for Duck Hill Sawmill? There already is. There already is. We have the first video of the Timber King 2020 on YouTube. So, I will drop that in somewhere up there down below. Kiwis are going by. Oh, that's a Blackhawk. Just one. Just one Blackhawk. Um, so, he wanted to see the Timber King. <laughs> How do you know it's a he? She. They. Anyways, um, follow Duck Hill Sawmill because you'll see a lot more cool milling like this in the whole progressions. I thought we were kidding about the Blackhawk, huh? Or she be. Uh, subscribe to this channel, give the video a like, a thumbs up, or whatever you're supposed to do here. A thumbs up. It's greatly would appreciate it. And follow along at the workshop at the gardens because we're going to turn all this wood that we milled today into... Well, at first we're going to get it ready, stickered and ready to go into the kiln. And then it should be ready for this fall to make into charcuterie boards for holiday gifts. You know you want one because you watched it get milled. Anyways, thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy.